we can ensure that the cuts that we make in the yard in order to take that defect to the absolute minimum level to ensure the quality of life. Every time you make a cut, you use energy. It costs you money. And so all of these are just a couple of examples of our contribution to help our customers the best sustainability of the initiatives. So that's, that's the quality. Those five fairly simple principles that we, we, we talk to our customers about all the time. And of course, one other piece of news. I'm now on slide number six. Um, in December of last year, we announced that we acquired Yossi Systems. These are the products that go in the glow room at the beginning of the process to start removing contamination from the problem. And there's a, there's a little quote on this slide from the press release that we put out that the problem of removing this disturbing foreign matter from cotton is one of the major challenges faced by any quality mining scheme. There are, there are data produced every year by ITMF talking about contamination in cotton. It's a big issue. And at the end of the day, when the spinning wheels bring this cotton in, they want to get this contamination out. Now, previously, we've relied entirely on the yard crew, which is fine. We do a great job with the quantum free. But now, with the combination with Yossi, we've now got an extra level of control that we can offer to our customers. We're now looking at the quality right at the beginning of the process. It's a perfect fit for them with our product line. We now extend the depth of control that we offer. So you bring that contamination problem under control. So if you go to slide number seven, what web produces? Okay, if you jump to slide number one, which has got the title of the challenges of today's textile markets, um, one, one thing that becomes clear to us is that our, our customers out there have some big challenges, they have some concerns. And we actually ask them, you know, okay, what, what is it that keeps you awake at night? Because we realise that for the textile industry today, the expectations of customers are getting more and more demanding. Um, prices are fluctuating out there, cotton prices all over the place right now, yarn prices are, are moving around, the markets are very difficult. Right now the China market's a bit slow, the Indian market's been challenged over the last year or so, with political situations and currency and so on. There's competition, but overall it's a tough very tough work in the textile industry today, particularly in the spinning sector. When we ask customers what keeps you awake from night, we get lots of answers coming through. Now when you go to the next next page, um, here's just a kind of selection if you like of some of the responses that we get from people. You know on the one side they worry about their reputation in the market. Are they producing the right quality for people? Are they getting the right yield out of the fibre? They work with. Contamination is a big problem. It's one of the biggest challenges in the textile industry today. But they got their costs under control. Manpower is a problem. It's getting more and more difficult for textile companies to find people with the right skills to operate the mills properly. And they're also faced with issues about global sourcing. You know that some can operate in local markets, but more and more they're, they're operating internationally, and that brings a whole set of new challenges. And so all these questions we ask our customers, you know, these, this is the list of their concerns, these are the things they're, that they're really worried about. Now when they're dealing with those things, we ask them, okay, are they facing the increase in demand for quality? And yes, they are. And where the discussion starts to move to is, well, what is the right quality? And we're using the words right quality rather than good enough. Because especially in this market in China, you hear people say, oh, it's good enough. But actually, we need to be a bit more precise about that. What's actually good enough is what is right for the customer. We've got some customers that have got their overall, it's tough. It's very tough work in the textile industry today, particularly in the spinning sector. When we ask customers what keeps you away from that, we get lots of answers coming through. Now when you go to the next next page, um, here's just a kind of selection of you like, some of the responses that we get from people. You know, on the one side they worry about their reputation in the market. Are they producing the right quality for people? Are they getting the right yield out of the fibre that they're working with? 
contamination is a big problem. It's one of the biggest challenges in the textile industry today. But they've got their costs under control. Manpower is a problem. It's getting more and more difficult for textile companies to find people with the right skills to operate the mills properly. And they're also faced with issues about global sourcing. You know, that some can operate in local markets, but more and more they're, they're operating internationally, and that brings a whole set of new challenges. And so all these questions we ask our customers, you know, these, this is the list of their concerns, these are the things that they're really worried about. Now when they're dealing with those things, We ask them, okay, are they facing the increasing demand for quality? And yes, they are. And where the discussion starts to move to is well, what is the right quality? And we're using the words right quality rather than good enough. Because especially in this market in China, you hear people say, oh, it's good enough. But actually, we need to be a bit more precise about that. What's actually good enough is what is right for the customer. We've got some customers that have got their costs under control. Manpower is a problem. It's getting more and more difficult for textile companies to find people with the right skills to operate the mills properly. And they're also faced with issues about global sourcing. You know, that some can operate in local markets, but more and more they're, they're operating internationally, and that brings a whole set of new challenges. And so all these questions we ask our customers, you know, these this is the list of their concerns, these are the things they're, that they're really worried about. Now when they're dealing with those things, we ask them, okay, are they facing the increase in demand for quality? And yes, they are. And where the discussion starts to move to is, well, what is the right quality? And we're using the words right quality rather than good enough, because especially in this market in China, Hear people say, oh, it's good enough. But actually, we need to be a bit more precise about that. What's actually good enough is what is right for the customer. We've got some customers that have got there. Now, when they're dealing with those things, we ask them, okay, are they facing the increase in demand for quality? And yes, they are. And where the discussion starts to move to is, well, what is the right quality? And we're using the words right quality rather than good enough. Because especially in this market in China, you hear people say, oh, it's good enough. But actually, we need to be a bit more precise about that. 